welcome everybody to our harp concert. We have this concert because we uh, have a new harp at the Academy and this is our way to present it. Uh, we will give a concert with three harp students. Uh, we will all play a solo piece and I will play the first piece. This will be uh, a sonata by Paul Hindemith. He wrote this piece in 1939 and uh, that's just before the Second World War. Uh, he left Germany because uh, he didn't feel good with the current or that current po uh, political situation. And uh, he went to Switzerland and there he wrote this piece. Uh, you can really feel in the first movement already the very dark atmosphere that was uh, there around this time. The first movement is about a church which is on a very big square and you can really hear maybe an organ player practicing a bit and you can hear the bells of the church and in the end of the movement you can uh, feel that it gets evening and you feel long shadows and uh, it's getting into the night and then we have the second movement which continues uh, from the first the second movement is about children playing outside this, uh, this church on the square and you hear them screaming a bit you hear them maybe fighting and um, you can still hear the bells also sometimes from the church and then we go to the third movement which is based on a poem by uh, Hulti and um, this poem is about the death and uh, the poet asks like uh, when I pass away would you hang my harp in the trees and would you still remember me and uh, this last movement is really set on the words of the poem so you can really feel this poem. So I will play for you uh, the Hindemith Sonata.
Good evening. Uh, I'm Claire Moncharmont, and now I'm going to play a piece called Légende by Henriette Renier. So Henriette Renier is a French virtuose harpist and composer, really important for us harpist because she has composed a lot of very important pieces for us. And uh, Légende, the piece I'm going to play, is one of them. So it's a piece who is inspired uh, by a poem uh, by Le Comte de Lisle, and it's a story about a knight going through a forest and suddenly he finds some elves and they come and dance around him and the queen of the elves tried to seduce the knight but uh, he refused because he is on his way to meet his fiance so he leaves but the queen uh, decides to use magic against the fiance so um, he rides his horse in the forest and finds the ghost of his fiance who is already dead and is too sad and die too.
Thank you. 
to finish off our concert tonight, I am going to play um, Suite Galactique, written in the year 2000 by French-Canadian composer Caroline Lissot. This piece is a contemporary piece for harp, and it has a lot of extended technique, which you will hear during the three movements. The first one is called Exosphere, and the exosphere is the outer layer of our Earth's atmosphere. And this layer is about 1,000 kilometers deep. And it is where gravity stops working on the molecules, uh, like the um, oxygen atoms and all the other molecules in our atmosphere. And space basically starts and our Earth's atmosphere end. And this movement is us following a molecule starting in the very core of our Earth where the pressure is really high, and then it travels up out of the surface and then into the atmosphere and goes up, up, up through the atmosphere until it finally, in the end, escapes the forces of gravity and floats into interplanetary space. Then, the second movement, that one is called Hymne en beau combat, and it paints a picture of soldiers sitting down around a campfire late at night and it's really cold and they're shivering but even though it's dark and cold and they've had hard lives they still enjoy each other's company and they tell stories and eventually even start to sing with each other and then after that i'm going to play the third movement which is called scherzo del pueblo which means basically scherzo for the common people. And that movement is the lightest of them all and it has a lot of, it has a kind of an agricultural feel I can, I can uh, say. And it's like the composer describes it as dancing around a bar and hands in hay and like uh, animals and just people enjoying each other's company. But first, of course, I'm going to play the first movement, Exosphere a journey into space.